So you, you prefer that I... Exactly, I yeah. have the microphone already. So it has to be spontaneous, which it will be. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel uh, extremely uh, honored um, to receive uh, this uh, highest recognition uh, from Sweden. Uh, I think surely of my uh, former team in Vienna and at Umeå University who contributed to this uh, great discovery. I also think of my, all my colleagues of the CRISPR field and uh, all the scientists who have uh, really done a fantastic job to bring this technology uh, further uh, that uh, allows now to have uh, a genome engineering uh, technology, a very versatile one uh, that is used uh, by multiple scientists <laughs> all over the world to modify uh, genomes of cells and organisms. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's a great discovery, and I'm uh, very happy to be one of the pioneers of this uh, discovery. What did you learn when you had the news? You learned the run for a few years already. No, so it, it, it's clear. Uh, I was reminded on a very regular basis that uh, very likely uh, the so-called CRISPR-Cas discovery will be awarded one day, the Nobel Prize, and that maybe I will be one of the awardees. Uh, but I have to say that this morning when I received uh, the call from the General Secretary of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences, I was, I was extremely emotional and extremely moved, as a matter of fact. Um, yeah, I, 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 I mean, it sounds surreal that I say this, but I could not believe it, even though I knew that uh, it would happen one day. But when it happens, then <laughs> you have to digest it and realize that, yeah, it has happened. Yes, yeah, so I, I find it in, I find it for sure uh, extremely nice that the, the award is is going for two women. I think this is the first case 
uh, ever seen for the Nobel Prize. Um, and actually thinking about it, because I was asked the question this morning, I think it's, it's quite also reflective of uh, what you see nowadays. One has always to keep in mind that in general, uh, Nobel Prizes are awarded 20, 30 years after the discovery. And this discovery uh, is only eight years ago. And it has bloomed uh, ex extremely, uh, extremely, so it, it, everyone is using now the CRISPR-Cas9 Cas technology. And I think it's just reflective of what is happening in our days, meaning that uh, work is, uh, scientific work involves collaborations and, and, you know, we collaborate with scientists we think we should collaborate with, whether they are female scientists or male scientists. Here it's just happened that it's two female scientists and it's quite reflective of what is happening in our days. I hope it will remain as such, but it's reflective of the fact that science becomes more modern and involves more uh, female leaders. And I do hope that it will remain and even develop more in this direction, because it's obviously maybe more cumbersome to be uh, a woman in science than being a man in science. How will you spend the rest of the day? The rest of the day I will spend it at press conferences. I have one press conference waiting for me. And, uh, yeah, and uh, replying to all the messages that I've received. I received 300 emails within uh, uh, 15 minutes of time, plus uh, all the messages through WhatsApp and uh, iMessage. So, yes, I have a lot of, uh, of correspondence to do as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. There will be two press conferences at 2.30 and at 4 p.m. with both with live streams. Uh, <laughs> you can find information on the Max Planck website. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can you show it to us? Could you show it to us? Thank you.